Ground Force Dan Kerman has reaction from some of the local leaders who are uh, understandably upset and shaken by this, knowing that the people in the community are going to need so much support over the next days and weeks. And all of this again following the crisis that already happened because of the situation with the weather. So, Dan, bring us up to date. Well, a couple of uh, county supervisors and the vice mayor of Half Moon Bay were out here today talking about gun violence, how something must be done, indicating that it's very possible that they will try and take some steps to curb violence that relates to guns in their community. They also spoke out about how children were on the scene of several of these shootings, and they know there's going to be a need for lots of mental health support. And so they are providing that both at the uh, uh, Ides Hall tonight and also uh, recommending people call the county helpline. Uh, one of the people speak tonight was a county supervisor, one of the county supervisors who spoke out about the gun violence in general. Uh, we grieve tonight for the deceased members of our community. This is a horrific event, one that we would never imagine would occur in San Mateo County. Uh, gun violence in this country is at completely unacceptable levels. It's really hit home tonight. Our hearts are broken. We are deeply grateful for law enforcement for their work this evening. But in the end, there are simply too many guns in this country. And there has to be a change. This is not an acceptable way for a modern society to, to live its, and conduct its affairs. And we are do everything in our power to make those changes. Back live now at the sheriff's substation in Half Moon Bay. You're looking now at the vehicle where the suspect was confronted and taken out by a sheriff's deputy. Sheriff's officials are still scouring that vehicle for any information and any evidence that they can glean from that. And they've been on that scene and on that car since his arrest a little bit earlier tonight. But again, as we mentioned, politicians here really concerned about the mental health of people, the farm workers who've been affected by the floods, now affected by the shooting. They want to make sure that people who are affected are reaching out tonight and asking for help. That's the latest live in Half Moon Bay. Dan Kerman, back to you in the studio. 